wanted in life was just sort of shifted. Fifteen years after Boston native Isaac Akiba first danced with Boston Ballet, he's stepping off stage and retiring from the company he loves. He grew up in Jamaica Plain. He's been dancing since he was in elementary school. Yes, and over the course of his career, he has worked with some of the best choreographers in the world. But Akiba is ready for his next act and to give another dancer a turn in the spotlight. City Dance actually came to my classroom when I was in third grade, nine years old. So um, they came and they, they recruited us to um, introduce us to ballet. Um, so that's how, I, that's how I first started. And Isaac Akiba never stopped. Dance was his calling. The lifestyle of being a dancer becomes embedded inside of you. His junior year in high school, he took a leap of faith and dropped out to focus on ballet. I first spoke with him about it back in 2014. You have to focus on your own path, and everyone's path is very different. That's really a life lesson, though, isn't it? It is. It is a life lesson. Yeah, you learn a lot. <laughs> the decision paid off. Akiba became the first dancer in company history to start in city dance, work his way up through the school, and join Boston Ballet. And the training was really intense, you know, with you learning a classical art form, you have to start at such a young age. And so I was dealing with really adult concepts from, uh, from a young age. Over the years, he tackled all types of roles. Yeah, I've been so lucky to dance some really amazing things. The Russian and the Nutcracker was one of my favorite things to do. I think it really fit my personality, and I could just express myself in a way I feel really comfortable um, and feel happy doing. Boston Ballet is an international company with dancers coming in from all over the world. And then I'm just here like a kid from JP, you know, taking the orange line to the studios. When dancers first join, I say, let me know if you need any help with anything. What are the, what are the best restaurants in, restaurants in town? What are the best areas to live in? Um, so it's, it's really fun to share Boston with them. Being the hometown kid also has other benefits. I think the, the Boston audience is exceptional, and I have so many people here that have watched me grow from a little boy carrying out, you know, the, um, the sword in Swan Lake to principal roles here. So I, I've always felt so supportive. While dancing full time, Akiba was also able to get his GED and then go on to college. He and several other dancers graduated in the spring. So it took me nine years to graduate from Northeastern University. Um, and that was a really big part of me being able to transition from dance into something else. For now, that something else is more education. I got into Boston University. Western School of Business. I'm really excited about starting that new journey. Akiba will start class soon, and while he won't be on stage, he says Boston Ballet will always be with him. I feel really blessed to uh, experience what I've experienced, and I'm, I'm really um, going to take everything I learned here in this you know beautiful place and, and building, and the, and the people I've been surrounded with, uh, with me on, into my next chapter. Oh, and we wish him the best. We should tell you both injuries and college graduation played a role in Isaac Akiba's decision to retire, but he says mm -hmm. he accomplished everything he wanted to in his dancing career, and he's simply ready for a different type of challenge. And with all of the pressure and that standard of excellence, you just know that anything he takes on, yeah. he'll be able to do beautifully. What a proud Boston story. Right. Yeah, it was a great career. It's awesome. It's well, we have much more still ahead. And the news at 6 starts right now.